Singapore has been referred to by Interpol as the hotbed of match fixing in Asia after the arrest of two now famous fixers over the last two years. Zehan Mohammed Yusuf, a journalist with local newspaper The New Paper, has been tracing the match fixing story for the past four years. His employer, Singapore Press Holdings, has now compiled all of Zehan's articles and published them in a book entitled Foul The Inside Story of Singapore Match Fixers. At the launch on Monday, Zehan described how prevalent match fixing is around the world. Well, I think uh, it takes two hands to clap. Yeah, it may have some of the guys involved in match fixing coming from Singapore, but it also takes the other side, people in Europe, in Africa, in Latin America, to play you know, the dirty game. So uh, I think corruption in sports, it affects everyone. Zehan believes match fixers are highly active during international friendlies, like the Scotland-Nigeria encounter held in London shortly before the World Cup. Of course, those are some of the games uh, that are the favourites of match fixers, you know, like uh, we know that Wilson Rush indicates, uh, or even like uh, Dan Tan, they would eye such friendlies because, you know, it doesn't affect anything. Yeah, and like I said previously, the allegiances, the friendships have been forged with players and so on in the past. So it's just a matter of a phone call and agreeing to a price that uh, something like a World Cup qualifier can be fixed. And I've also seen testimony from a striker in uh, Laos team to say that, yes, before the game was played in 2010, I think it was 2010, yeah, we knew the scores, so I'm not surprised. The crime reporter inadvertently stumbled upon a match involving Bahrain and a fake Togo team which caught his attention in September 2010. He's since written 150 articles on the subject of match fixing.